Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, it is said that the clamp shown in the figure is frequently used in the welding operations. Determine the clamping force on the two metal piece, pieces at E and the magnitudes of the force supported by pins A, B and D. So we have to find the force uh, which this uh, clamp applies at this point E, right? So this whole mechanism will apply the force at this point E in this direction, right? So what will happen is that uh, if we consider this part for our analysis, so this uh, screw will apply the force on this uh, upper part in this direction, right? So we can say that uh, there will be a force if we consider this as a free body diagram. So we will consider the forces on this uh, part of the on this member of the of this mechanism right so what will happen is that here we will have that e force which will be acting on this uh, member right so let's say that this is that e member right and if here it is said that 60 newton force is applied in the horizontal direction at this uh, left handle right so here we have that uh, 60 newton force So, if here 60 Newton force is applied on both the handles, so what will happen is that uh, in this uh, left handle will apply the force on this right handle in this direction, right? That is towards the right, right? So, what will happen is that uh, this right handle will apply the force on this left handle in the opposite direction, right? So, we will have that force in this direction. So, if we represent that force, the right handle applies the force on left handle in this direction right and this left handle will apply the same force on this right handle in the opposite direction right so we can say that if if this is that point a if this is that point a let me write if this is that point a so let's say that this is that a force right and if if this is the case if 60 newton force is applied here so what will happen is that uh, this handle will apply the force on this part on this member in this direction right so uh, this handle will try to open this uh, this member this upper member right so in order to open this what will happen that uh, this uh, left hand will apply the force at this point b in this direction and as a reaction what will happen is that this part will apply the force on this right handle in the opposite direction right so let me draw that force so this will be the force of this member on this uh, left hand left handle right so let's say that if if this point is b so let's say that this is that b force and this is that same b point and this is that d point right so now if if this member applies the uh, this force on this handle so what will happen is that this handle will apply the same force on this uh, part in the opposite direction right so we will have that same b force in in this direction at this particular point right so this is that same b force and now if uh, this part will move in this direction so what will happen is that this part will apply the force on this part in this direction at this point d so as a reaction this part will apply the force on this part uh, in this direction right so here we will have that force which will be acting in this direction so let's say that this is the d force so now if we consider the handle for the analysis first right so if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero so now as we can see that this is that point a so this b is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write b and the perpendicular distance of this b from that point a is this distance this is given right so the distance between point b and a is uh, 7.2 so i'll multiply this with 7.2 right and as we can see that this 60 newton force is a uh, uh, producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus this is 60 and the perpendicular distance of this 60 newton force from that point a is this 72 mm distance so i will multiply this with 72 right this b is producing clockwise moment so we have to write minus sign here so this will be equal to this thing or we can say that this if we bring this to the other side of the equation so this will become negative right so we can find the b so this will be as uh, minus 60 into 
72 and we will divide this by minus 7.2 so this will give us that b force which is equal to 600 newtons right so that b force at point b is equal to 600 newtons right and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 for this handle right so as we can see that this b this a is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus a this b is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus and b magnitude is 600 and this 60 newton force is also acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus 60 so this means that a is equal to 660 newtons now if we consider this uh, left upper part for the analysis so let me write that this is left upper part right so now uh, if we apply the summation of moment about point d equals to 0 now we know this b force right so this b is 600 newton right so now if we apply the summation of moment about this point d so as we can see that this E is producing counterclockwise moment about this point D. So, I will write E plus and the perpendicular distance of this E from that point D is this 72 mm, right? So, I will multiply this with 72. And as we can see that this B is producing clockwise moment about that point D. So, I will write minus and this B is 600 and the perpendicular distance between uh, this uh, 600 Newton force and that point D is this 16.8 mm, right? So, we will multiply this with 16.8 and this is equal to 0 or uh, we can say that E into 72 is equal to this thing, right. So, this will give us that E force which is uh, the clamping force, right. So, this will be equal to 600 into 16.8 divided by 72. So, this E force is 140 newtons, right. So, this E force is equal to 140 newtons. And now, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at uh, this part, right. So, as we can see that this d force is acting in the positive x direction. So, I will write d. This b is acting in the negative x. So, I will write minus 600. And this e is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus e. And now, e magnitude is known which is 140. So, this is equal to 0. Or uh, we can say that d is equal to 600 plus 140. Right, so 600 plus 140. So D is equal to 740. Right, so D equals to 740 newtons. Right, so we were uh, asked to determine this A, B, and this D, and this E force. That this is the clamping force. Right. So I hope you people would have understood uh, this solution. Uh, kindly like my videos if that help in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet